Hello, my name is Julian Edgar and I'm the author of the book Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. So in this video, I want to describe a bit about what's in the book. I want to describe a bit about the, who the book is aimed at and I want to give you a little bit of background on me. So this is a book that's not written for electronic engineers or electrical engineers. It's not written for mechanics. It's written for normal people who want to work on their own cars and who want to understand the systems, the electronic and electrical systems in those cars. So to achieve that, I start without assuming any knowledge at all on the part of the reader. And in that first chapter, I have some very basic circuits, a battery, a light, two wires and a switch. But in that chapter, I could develop the ideas of what is a voltage and what is a current and what is resistance and how do those things relate to each other. Now, that provides a foundation for the understanding that you can carry right through the book, even when we talk about much more complex things. I move on to switches and relays. Single pole switches, double pole switches, mechanical relays, solid state relays, and then I introduce multimeters. A multimeter, the universal measuring tool with electrical and electronic systems. How do you select a multimeter if you don't already have one? How do you use a multimeter to measure these different variables? Then I go on to fault finding basic car systems, the starting system, the charging system, fused circuits. How do you find faults? How do you check that those systems are working properly? In the second half of the book, I lift the ante, I up the ante a little bit. And I talk especially about electronic systems. And I start with analog and digital signals. Now if you're going, oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. They're really quite straightforward to understand and it builds on the foundation that's been established earlier in the book. I talk about electronic components, resistors and capacitors and diodes and transistors. Not because I expect you to be building your own circuits with those components, but because I think it helps you to understand how those car systems are working. I then introduce scopes, oscilloscopes, a, a device that draws a graph of the voltage of the signal and allows you to monitor signals that are changing very fast. Signals, for example, coming out of the crank angle sensor or coming out from a narrow band oxygen sensor. A scope is the brother, if you like, to a multimeter. And with those two tools, you can measure almost everything you need to on a car. I then talk about engine management. And I use the Bosch systems as the, the fundamental analysis, if you like. Uh, most car systems in the world are either using Bosch or are based on Bosch technology. And I start with Eljectronic, going right back to the, the mid-late 70s, and I go right up to ME Motronic, a uh, torque-based demand system, and I also talk about uh, diesel injection systems and direct petrol injections. How do you fault find those systems? I talk about OBD use. I talk about analyzing systems for which there are no fault codes. How can you generate fault codes if there's no apparent way of doing it? Uh, how can you diagnose those more complicated systems? And finally, I finish on building blocks, electronic modules that you can now buy off the shelf and you can fit to your car, which can improve convenience, let you trigger things at certain throttle positions, a whole bunch of little projects that you can apply to your car. And me, well, I've been working on the electronics of my cars all my life. Uh, I've always loved electronics. I've always loved electrical systems. I've been writing about car electronic systems for about 25 or 30 years. Um, the stuff that I'm talking about is all stuff that I've done myself. So I'm not just writing about it from a theory point of view. I'm writing about it from a practical point of view. The book is called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems, and I really recommend it to you. Thank you.